What's going on, people? This is Kenneth Rodriguez, and this is Geek Hot Picks. So today, we're going to be talking about 4K, native and upscale. Um, some people have asked me this a thousand times. Uh, should I go with the Xbox One X? So should I go with the Xbox One S? Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the differences in resolution and which one is your best option. So let's geek out. So, okay, uh, first of all, we have to talk about resolutions. And I have this uh, table that I'm going to show you that basically sums up what all the resolutions are. Basically, this is a video city resolution. This small one on your um, right side. This is DVD, 720p, 1080p, DCI 2K. The DCI 2K is mostly used for uh, filmography, so you won't see that a lot. Then you have 4K ultra high definition and DCI 4K. Again, the DCI uh, 4K is used in filmography most of the time. You won't see that uh, almost anywhere. So as you can see easily, you can see the sizes uh, differences here. Basically, uh, 720p is less than 1080p. 4K is more than 1080p, but but what the, does that entail in, in consoles? Uh, what is the Xbox One X, Xbox One S, and PlayStation 4 Pro doing? So basically, uh, I'm just gonna show you right now. Uh, and we're gonna use an image here. Uh, let me bring it up. Okay, so basically this is a 4K image. 4K image, as you can see, 33.33% of the image we're watching right now because it's too big to to see. That's a hundred. See, see how big that image is, right? Like it, it won't fit on the screen because this screen is 1080p. It's not 4K, right? But this is the size of the image. So if you, we go super close. Basically, you're gonna get to the point where you can see the pixels. These are all the pixels. So this little squares, they basically make up the image. Every single square has a location in the image and it has a color assigned to it. This is, again, a 4K image. So every color in this map, in this uh, image, in this pixels, it's native as in it's it's true form it's real it's pure right so basically what is a 1080p image this is a 1080p image see the difference in size so this is what the playstation uh, 4 and the xbox one put out mostly right uh, with the Xbox One S and PlayStation 4 Pro, they do uh, what they call upscaling. Uh, they're, they're calling uh, some of them native. Uh, it depends on, on the game. But basically, what it does, it's, it stretches the image to make it 4K. And I'm going to give you an example on how this is done. Basically, um, what they do is they grab this 1080p image and they just stretch it they just stretch it until it's 4k that's basically what they do that's basically what they do but let's compare the image itself let's go to the pixels again and let's compare so we're gonna go super close here we're gonna go into the pixels and we're gonna compare those pixels, right? So let's move this a little bit, get some different coloring. Okay, so that's an upscaled 4K image. So they took that 1080p image and basically stretched it to be 4K. This is the actual 4K image. So you can you can actually tell there's a lot of blur that that goes into that change because what what it entails it is that when it stretches the space between all this p 
pixels, it's stretched as well, right? So the computer, the algorithm, the, the PlayStation Pro, the Xbox One S, they have to fill in, fill in those blanks. And it has an algorithm that say, well, if this one is black and this one is white, maybe a gray. If this one is red and this one is red, most likely it was gonna be a red one. But if this one is yellow and this one is blue, does it go blue? Does it go yellow? Does it go green? Right? So 4K native and 4K of scale. You can tell like right off the bat that there's a lot of uh, of blurriness between the two of them. This one is a native as in it's pure and this one is upscale. Both of them when they're at 100% when they are at 100% you can't hardly tell, but still there's a little bit of blurriness that you can tell like right here. It's not as crisp as the actual 4K one. This is upscaled. You can tell here in, uh, in the teeth right here of the beast. There's a little bit of blurriness when it's 4K. It's like more sharp. There's more sharpness in, into it. Let's see like around the eye right here. Look how crisp it looks. And this is the upscaled one. It's not as crisp. So basically, that's what the Xbox One S and the X uh, and the PlayStation Pro, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, sorry, do. They grab an image that is 1080p and stretch it to a 4K. That's that's it. That's it's an algorithm that that the the console does that basically stretches the image because it's easier to stretch an image and and show it to you 60 times per second than having to create this huge image and start showing this huge image 60 times per second. Now, we have the Xbox One X, which uh, they're boasting that, that it's native 4K. That has to be uh, proven that that it's actually 4k and not stretch uh some of the games they still do the the, the upscale um but some games uh, what they do is they get better textures so they can they can um show you better image more sharpness but that's it it's it's not that difficult and and it's it's a concept that there's a lot of people that they can't quite grasp it uh, when it's native, it's pure. When it's upscaled, it's stretched. So once it's stretched, all those gaps needs to be filled, and the and the algorithm basically fills those gaps. It, it's it's as simple as that. So when you're playing a video game, how does this affect the video game? It doesn't affect it at all. It doesn't affect it at all. Because if you don't have two displays, one displaying in 4K native and one displaying in, in the upscale version, you won't tell the difference. It's going to look amazingly better, but you won't tell the difference. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, back and forth with the uh, PC gaming uh, community. Saying, oh, we can play in in, in in native 4K. Looks how uh, look how awesome the, this looks. And again, if you are not playing it side by side, you you can't tell. You can't. It like it's it's a lie. Like people who say, oh, I can't tell. It's it's that's BS. Like they they can't tell because it's super hard. Like you have again, you have to go like super close. This is again 33.33%. This is a hundred. You can hardly see the difference. It's just a little bit of sharpness loss right there, especially here. See this area right here. Look at this area right here. I'm gonna switch to the upscaled one. And this is also like a rough uh, comparison because obviously each console has its own algorithm and they output better. Uh, 
a better result than than just this, right? Uh, this is basically like low level editing right now because there's nothing to it. It's just stretching and that's it. But it's easy to explain because again, when you go super close and you compare, like look at all this right here. It's like different shades of white and and gray and gray with green. But here, it's 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 basically a blur. It's basically a blur, and that's what it ends up being. A blur. Uh, which one should you get? It depends. Um, for real 4K, again, Xbox One X is boasting about it. I personally don't own one, so I'm not gonna say that, oh my God, this looks so much better than the Xbox One S. Uh, price range, it's super high compared to the Xbox One S, yet the Xbox One S does upscaling, uh, comes uh, with a 4K Blu-ray player for your movies, so you can watch your movies in 4K, and also it outputs in HDR. The PlayStation 4 Pro, it outputs in HDR. It doesn't come with a 4K Blu-ray player. Compared to the PlayStation base unit, the base unit also outputs in HDR. So, and, and if you have a 4K TV, chances are that a 4K TV right now upscales on its own. So if you own an Xbox One, a regular one, or you own a, a PlayStation 4, the base edition, you're watching it in upscale 4K because the TV will do the upscale for you. Again, different brands have different algorithms, so you're gonna have different results. Uh, the best option is when it's native, but in this case, if you, if, if you don't care, go with the base X, uh, PlayStation 4. Uh, you can go with the base Xbox One. I personally, since I have a 4K TV, I went with the Xbox One S because it has a 4K Blu-ray player and I can watch my movies in native 4K. The movies in the Xbox One S are played in native 4K because it, it, it's just the signal from the disc to the screen. Like the 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 basically the Xbox doesn't do anything, just display what it's reading. So it's actually native 4K in, when you're watching a movie. But I will go with the Xbox One S. Again, a lot of people. Well, there's a lot of exclusives in the PlayStation 4. Then go with the PlayStation 4. But if you want more options up around watching entertainment in 4K. Xbox One S is the way to go. Um, Xbox One X, I don't, I don't see the the appeal yet because again, it still has the same Blu-ray, uh, 4K Blu-ray player. Um, it like the content, yes, it's 4K. It's a little better than 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 the upscaled version, but they're still saying that it's not quite there. So again, I, I'm not talking about personal experience. That's what I read before. Probably in the next year or two, they're they're gonna hit, you know, hit that ball out of the park. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video because a lot of people have been asking me about this, and I, I I just needed to. I just needed to, and and I'm trying to inform people just so they can be informed at least, right? and that's it like i hope you enjoyed the video make sure that you subscribe uh also hit that bell so you don't miss all the content we have in store for you uh i kind of like took my beard down right i still um i haven't get gotten a haircut because uh of halloween i need to dress up as some character that needs the hair to be longer but um yeah um <laughs> this is it hope you enjoy it and see you on the next one this is kenneth rodriguez and this was geek hot picks